Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Agfa Optima 2S. Uh, it was made in West Germany uh, from 1961 to 1966. Has a uh, 45 millimeter color apatar lens. Uh, goes from f2.8 to f22. It's sitting in a Prontormatic shutter. It doesn't say for sure in the manual, but from what I've found, it goes from 1 250th of a second to 1 30th of a second. Uh, focusing, there is uh, icons and distance settings, and it also has a coupled range finder uh, with the close-up parallax marks. Just a couple of marks a little lower uh, from the top of the viewfinder has a selenium meter. This one seems to work and I'll get to why I say it seems to work. Um, it's auto everything except for focusing. You set the film speed here. Um, it goes from ISO 10 to 250. Gives you kind of an idea of the age of it. Kind of like the film counter. It counts down and you can select 36 or 20, which used to be a common number of exposures per roll. Um, that is about it for most of it. Uh, once you've set the film speed, you set this dial to A, and it selects the shutter speed and the, uh, the aperture for you. The way you can defeat that, you set this either to flash, which makes it a fixed 1 30th of a second, or you set it all the way over to bulb and when you have it like that then this lever on the bottom and this little window on the side of the barrel then you can set your own aperture but it's either you know how accurate you can be in bulb mode or you get a thirtieth of a second um, the reason I say you know it seems to work uh, if it's too dim there's a there's a little red circle in there and if, you, if it can get uh, the proper exposure, it turns green. I'm not really sure how the mechanism works. It's mechanical of some sort. Um, anyway, so I get some pictures like this. You know, it's nice and crisp. It's in focus. It's properly exposed. And then most of them were like this. They're kind of fuzzy, not great. I have no idea what the difference is. I think this one has been worked on a bit. It's missing one of the, the front plates here. The screws seem to be in good shape. But, you know, it has some, some cool features. It's a cold shoe with the uh, sink socket down here on the body. Uh, it, this is the shutter button. You bring it down halfway to get the reading from the selenium meter and the viewfinder, and then all the way to uh, take the shot. Um, a slick, although you know not really that big of a deal. Use this little lever, and it pops up the rewind knob. Um, that is about it. Um, you know, it's a fun camera, but this one's got a few problems. Um, one thing I noticed: the icons for focusing are supposed to be on the top with the actual scale distances on the bottom for when you're doing zone focusing but they're upside down on this one that kinda tells me maybe somebody was working on it and didn't get it cherry uh, I ran a second roll through it it was pretty much a bust I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother doing another one I think this old guy needs too much work but anyway I'll post some pictures and I'll see you then